Number 20 is max. The question says find the average value of cosine of x on the closed interval from negative 3 to 5. So the people that wrote the test wrote it, this question in a weird way so that you are frightened again by it. There are clues here. Why? No word. Average value of cosine of x. What are they telling you about? You there. Well, they're telling you a few things. First of all, they're telling you that the function that you're dealing with is f of x equals cosine of x. Second, that you're trying to find the average value of a function. So you say, I know that formula. The average value is equal to 1 over b minus a, the integral from a to b of f of x dx. Look at that. Everything that you need is given to you. You know f of x, you know a, you know b. All you have to do now is find the average value. Negative 3 is your a. Positive 5 is your b. So you have 1 over 5 minus negative 3 times the integral from negative 3 to 5 of cosine of x dx. This is 1 over a. The antiderivative of cosine of x is equal to sine of x, sine of x. The lower limit of integration is negative 3. The upper limit is 5. So this is 1 over 8 times sine of 5 minus sine of negative 3. There is one more trick of the sleeve, which is you need to remember that sine of x is an odd function. So sine is odd. What does that mean? It means that sine of negative x is equal to negative sine of x. In other words, sine of negative 3 is equal to negative sine of 3. So this is 1 over 8 times sine of 5 minus negative sine of 3. I think I've done enough for you to figure out the correct answer. We move on to number 21. For number 21, the people that wrote this test are hoping to fool you. Are hoping that you are saying, oh, I'm gonna use the I'm gonna use L'Hopital's rule to find the limit. Please don't do it. The first thing you should check when you use L'Hopital's rule is to see is this zero over zero? Is it infinity over infinity? Well in this case, this is neither. Let's take the limit by using the right substitution. What do we get? We get one over natural log of 1. What is natural log of 1? Um, yes. What is natural log of 1? Remember, natural log of 1 means log of 1 for a base of e. It represents the exponent to which you need to raise e to get 1. Log of 1 for a base of e is equal to 0 because Let's spell because correctly. e to the 0 is equal to 1. So this is really 1 over 0. Does the limit exist? No, absolutely not. This limit does not exist. So you just say non-existent. This would be one of your choices. But I'll continue with number 22. We erase the board. Like I said, take a look at number 22, pause the video, go over it, see if you can solve it yourself. If you can't, the solution is now provided. Let's look for the question. Let's look for the one big clue. What is the one big clue? 
a is increasing. Ask yourself, when is a function increasing? A function is increasing, so f is increasing when f prime of x is positive. Fine. Now we know exactly what we need to do. What do we need to do? Find f prime, find the critical numbers, make a sum graph, and see on which intervals f prime is greater than zero. Let's find f prime. It's tricky to find f prime. Let's rewrite f of x as well. I'm sorry about that. f of x is equal to e to the negative x times x squared minus 3. So notice that you're going to have to use the product rule. Not only do you have to use the product rule, you actually have to use the chain rule as a also. Why? Because e is raised to negative x. See, the derivative of negative x is not 1, it's actually negative 1. So let's use the product rule and let's use the chain rule as well. The derivative of e to the negative x is e to the negative x times negative 1 times x squared minus 3 plus plus e to the negative x times the derivative of x squared minus 3, which is 2x minus 0. So what is f prime of x? f prime of x is equal to the opposite of e to the negative x times x squared minus 3 plus 2x e to the negative x. Continue. f prime of x is equal to um, let's factor out an, an e to the negative x e to the opposite of x times negative x squared plus 3 plus 2x. So this is our f prime of x. We're going to rewrite it. f prime of x is equal to e to the negative x times the opposite of x squared plus 2x plus 3. What we're going to do next is we're going to factor that f prime of x is equal to e to the opposite of x times, let's see, this would be um, 3 plus x times 1 minus x and a. I've got it backwards, no problem. That's why we have erasers. This is actually 3 minus x times 1 plus x. Quickly check. 3 times 1 is 3. 3x minus x, 2x. And then the opposite of x times x is x squared. Good. We are now ready to find the critical numbers. e to the opposite of x is always positive. Our two critical numbers, the only two numbers that make f prime of x equal to 0 are, so our critical numbers, yes, I know I've skipped some steps, I'm sorry about that, but the two critical numbers are x equals 3 and x equals negative 1. What are we going to do next? We're going to make our sign graph. On the number line, let's put the numbers negative 1 and 3, and let's choose some test points. Let's choose negative 2, let's choose 0, and let's choose 4. Like I said, e to the negative x is always positive. So, 
e to the negative 2 is just e squared, which is positive. 3 minus negative 2 is 5, which is positive. 1 plus negative 2 is negative 1, which is negative. A positive times a positive times a negative is a negative. Let's choose the number 0, which is between negative 1 and 3. e to the 0, positive. 3 minus 0, positive. 1 plus 0, positive. A positive times a positive times a positive is a positive. Let's choose a number bigger than 3. e to the negative 3. Oh, I'm sorry. Bigger than 3. Bigger than 3. Like 4. e to the negative 4. Positive. 3 minus 4. Negative. 1 plus 4. Positive. A positive times a negative times a positive is a negative. So, what were we looking for? We stated at the beginning of the problem. f is increasing when f prime of x is greater than 0 f prime of x is greater than 0 on the interval from negative 1 to 3. Conclusion, f is increasing on the, close, on the open interval from negative 1 to 3. So increasing on the, the open interval from negative 1 to 3. As a bonus, you know, you could figure out my critical numbers are the maximum or the minimums that's for you to do on your own. Remember, after all, you are practicing for